How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss the last operation about rational algebraic expression, and this is the subtraction. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the School Clear Math videos just like this. Hello math learners, welcome to another session here in ML with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 1, week 4 of the grade 8 mathematics. And this is all about the operations of rational algebraic expression, which is specifically on subtraction. Okay, we already discussed the multiplication, division, and the addition. If you still have any confusion on that topic, kindly go to our playlist in the grade 8 math lesson. Now, how about subtraction of rational algebraic expression? How do we do this? Okay, now we have here the context of the process. Now, the same as the addition of rational algebraic expression, what do we do in subtraction is that we used to follow the same concept. If they have the same denominators, then we copy the denominators and then we follow the operation of the numerator. So, as you can see, A over B minus C over B, they have the same denominator. We copy the denominator and then we subtract immediately the numerators. Remember also that after we finish subtracting the given rational algebraic expression, always try to simplify into its lowest terms. Okay. Now, how about if they have different denominators? If they have different denominators, the same as the addition, we will still use the LCD. So, by using the LCD, we will get the equivalent value of that fraction and then we subtract the fractions or we subtract the rational algebraic expressions. Now, for you to learn that efficiently, let's consider an example. Okay, what if you have a 6 over 11 minus 4 over 11? Now, this is for you to have a strong foundation about subtraction. Okay, now in this first example, we have the same denominator, right? So, what you do here is you copy the denominator and then you subtract immediately the numerator. So, 6 minus 4, that is 2 and you have 2 over 11. Now, the question is, is 2 over 11 in its simplest form? Yes, it is already in its simplest form. Therefore, that will be your final answer. Is it right? Now, let's consider another example. Okay, math learners, we are here in our second example, which is still about fraction. So, we have 7 over 8 minus 5 over 6. Now, they have different denominators, right? So, what you do here is you first get the LCD of these fractions. So, how do we get the LCD? Technically, there are two ways. The first one is using the prime factorization, and then those factors are being multiplied. The second one is by the use of counting. So, you count by 8 and you count by 6. Now, what is the first number in which the 6 and 8 have in common? Then, that will be the LCD. Now, 8 and 6. If you consider 8 and 6, the first number that they will have in common is 24 because 24 can be divided by 8 and 24 can also be divided by 6. Okay. Now, once you get the LCD of these numbers, what you do is you get the equivalent numerators. So, you can use the ask yourself, what happened to 8? Why be it became 24? It was multiplied by 3. Okay. So, we also multiply our numerator by 3. So, 7 times 3, that is 21. Okay? Next is, what happened to 6 when it became 24? It was multiplied by 4. So, we also use in the numerator 5 times 4 and the answer is 20. Okay? So, now we can subtract it immediately. 21 minus 20 and that is 1 over 24. And this is already in its simplest form. Therefore, we have our final answer. Now, let us go to 
an example where variables and constants are there. Okay, math learners, we are here in our first example about the rational algebraic expression. We have x squared plus 5x minus 20 all over 3x plus x minus 2 minus the expression negative 10 minus 6x minus 5x squared all over 3x squared plus x minus 2. Now, let us first observe our given expressions. They have the same denominator. So, what we do here is we copy the denominator. All right. Now, what we do here is basically we subtract this expression to this expression. Now, let me emphasize this, my dear math learners. This one, right, the first numerator is subtracted to the next expression. Now, this is how you do using subtraction, okay? So, we have here x squared, right? And we also have here negative 5x squared. So, what you do here is x squared minus negative 5x squared. Now, how do you subtract 1? There is a 1 here, right? Okay, 1 minus negative 5. The answer is, okay, very good. That is 6x squared. Okay, now we are combining like terms. When I say like terms, quadratic terms is being combined with quadratic terms. Linear is being combined with linear. And constant term is being subtracted to the constant term. Okay, now we have the linear term. We have also here a linear term. So, 5x minus negative 6x. So, 5 minus negative 2 negatives, right? Minus negative. Okay, that means plus. So, it will become positive 11x. Alright? And now, finally, we have negative 20 minus negative 10. Negative 20 minus negative 10. That is the answer of negative 10. Because negative 20 minus negative 10 that will give you negative 20 plus 10, in which you will apply the rules in subtracting integers. Okay. So, we have now our simplified form for the numerator and the denominator. Now, these are trinomials, right? Remember that if you have an answer by trinomial, try to factor out or simplify its factored terms, whether you have a way to cancel each factor. Okay. Okay. Now, let's try to factor this. We have... Now, the first thing you should do is you can start with the numerator and then the denominator. Or you can also start from the denominator. Okay. So, now, I will just start with the denominator because it is quite easy, right? Okay. So, we have 3x squared. Factors are 3 and x. 3x and x. Okay. And then we have negative 2. So, negative is a combination of minus and plus. So, let us try... If we use this correctly, okay. And 2, what are the factors of 2? That is 2 and 1. Okay, let's try 2 and 1. Now, let us check. Okay. If we multiply this, 3x. If we multiply this, negative 2x. So, 3x and negative 2x, that will give us positive x. We have the correct factors. Okay, now let us go to the numerator. Now, 6x squared. Um, let's consider... 3x and 2x, all right? And then we have negative 10. So that would be plus and minus, okay? What are the factors of 10? Maybe 5 and 2, okay? Let's just try whether we are correct, okay? So um, if we check this, all right? So 3x and 3x times negative 2, that is negative 6. 5 times 2, that is 10x. So negative 6 and 10x. That will give us positive 4. Oh, we are wrong. So, let us consider we change this into 2. We change this into 5. Okay. We have 3 times negative 5. That is negative 15. We have 2 times 2. That is 4. So, negative 15 and 4. We have negative 11. Oh, almost. Because this is positive 11. So, what we do here is we just change the sign. Okay, so this will be minus and this will be plus. So let's try again. 3 times 5, positive 15. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. Positive 15 and negative 4, we have 
positive 11. Okay, so now we have the correct factor. So now let us check whether there are identical factors. We have here 3x minus 2. We have 3x minus 2. Okay, so this will be cancelled. Leaving us 2x plus 5 and x plus 1. So this will be our final answer. Is it right? Now, let us go to another example. Okay, math learners, we are now in our second to the last example. We have 2 over 4x minus 2 over 8x. How do we do this one? Le First, let's check the denominators. Are they the same? No. So, if they are not the same, then we will find the LCD. Okay. So, let's start first with the variables. What is the LCD of x and x? Of course, they are the same. So, that is x. Okay? Remember, for variables, we always copy the highest exponent. Well, they are identical, so let's just copy them as 1. Okay. Now, 4 and 8. What is the LCD of 4 and 8? Of course, that is 8. Because if you count by 4 and you count by 8, the first common among the multiples is 8. Okay. So, we have 8. Now, 8x divided by 4x, the answer is, okay, 2. So, that is 2 times 2 because 2 here and then the division of this one the quotient is 2 okay so we have minus we copy the 2 here all right 8x divided by 8x of course if identical then the answer is 1 so we have 2 times 2 that is 4 minus 2 times 1 that is 2 8x so if we subtract this one this gives us 2 over 8x now, as you can see, my dear math learners, 2 and 8 are factorable by 2. Meaning, we can still get its lowest term. So, by dividing the fraction to its numerator and denominator by 2, we will have 1 over 4x. And this is our final answer. Is it right? Now, let us go to our final example. Okay, math learners, we are down to our final example. We have a plus 2 over 3a minus 9 minus the expression 3a ah sorry 3 minus 2a all over 5a minus 15 now first is let us check the denominators we have 3a minus 9 and we have 5a minus 15 now how do we get the lcd of this one now in getting the lcd i suggest that if you can still get the factored form of each denominator then you do so okay so how do we do that what is the common factor of 3a and 9? We have 3, right? Because 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. If we factored out 3, we have a minus 3. Okay. Now, if we factor 5a minus 15, what is the common factor of 5 and 15? That is 5. And what remains is a minus 3. Because 5 times a, 5a. 5 times negative 3 negative 15 or minus 15 okay now as you can see here oh, let's just copy the numerators first okay now as you can see here they have a common factor right so for our lcd we can just write this one okay and for our numbers here outside 3 and 5 what is the lcd of 3 and 5 that is 15 okay so therefore the factor or the LCD of 5A minus 3, 5 times A minus 3, and 3 times A minus 3 is 15 times A minus 3. Now, what we do here is we divide this to this and the answer will be multiplied in our numerator. So, let's just write our numerator. Okay. A minus 3 and A minus 3, that will cancel out, right? So, 15 divided by 3, that is... Five. All right. Next, we copy our numerator in the second expression. So this one divided by this one, this will cancel out. So 15 divided by 5, that is 3. And we have 3 here. Now what we do here is we simplify by the distributive property. So we have like this. So we have 5a plus 10. All right. A times 5, 5A. 2 times 5, 10. Okay. And we also have 3 times 3, that is 9, 
negative 2a times 3, that is negative 6a. Alright. And we have um, 15. Let's just write it this way. Okay? Let's just copy. Now, we can simplify like terms. We have 5a minus negative 6a. 5 minus negative, that will give us positive 11a. We have 10 minus 9. 10 minus 9, that is positive 1. Okay, so we have 11a plus 1 over, so this one, you just need to simplify this, so you distribute it, we have 15a minus 45, and that is your final answer. Easy, right? Okay, I hope you have understood our topic for today, math learners. The simplest idea of this operation is that addition and subtraction of rational algebraic expression are just the same concept. The difference is its operation. In addition, you add. In subtraction, you subtract. Okay? And now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic for today. And here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have learned a lot of things about our topic for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. If you have many confusion or misunderstanding or you want to learn more about our topic, try to comment in our comment section below. I would like to thank you all to all of your support and the comments that you shower upon me because those are wonderful comments that gives me more drive to do much more about our channel. Thank you, God bless, and keep safe. Fellow math learners, if you think you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. That is, if you are committed of learning mathematics the easy way. Thank you.